Oh, hey there, people. How the frigs are going today? It is a Saturday, probably around 1030. Probably thinking, Adam, you said yesterday if you did 64 kilometers, you'd totally be having a fishing video in your next video. What the hell's going on? Where's the fishing video? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Fishing video. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, the fishing video is more like, what if you gave your child a goldfish? What do you do with your... What do you, what do you do when you give your child a goldfish? Well, the child feeds the fish, right? That's what we did last night. I don't have much footage of the whole ordeal. But, I do have some. Problem is, is... Doesn't matter. Session four, session five. Low light. When it gets dark, they're useless. Anyway, I'll roll those clips right now, and you can get the gist of what it's like to feed the fish and not yourself. Alrighty, guys. It's quarter to eight, and you know what time it is? Let's go fishing. That's right, guys. We're gonna go fishing. Look at this. We're down at the uh, the wall here. Uh, my friend's here. I think. Did you get a snag? No. no. You probably do now, but. No. <laughs> We're good. We're good? We're good? Okay. So, it's uh, currently 20 after 8. The guppies don't start biting for another 20 minutes. Yeah. When that sun goes down, but, the water line. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that uh, bait is stupid. Uh, $7.50 for two dozen worms now. You some? Yeah, I bought some. I got mine for six. Yeah, for I, two dozen. yeah, they, they upped the price for some reason. Oh, and you're snagged. See, I distracted her and now she lost her jig head. Don't even say that. I bought so many. I know. Good I'm gonna go snorkeling down there. I'm gonna go snorkeling down there and get them all. Anyway, let's uh, oh, these guys got her, got her the right oh, idea. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, she's just full of swears today. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get this here game started, right, guys. First cast of the day. And that went nowhere. An amateur hour. <laughs> this friggin' I got bird nesting happening big time. Well guys, we got uh, we got visitors here. <laughs> Yay! Three little ducklings came over. Mommy's not too pleased with the fact that her babies are hanging <laughs> out with he humans. He's a big worm in his mouth. He's like, I'm gonna eat it all. Like, mommy oh, duck is not happy with baby ducks being so civilized. I got nothing for you guys. I got nothing. Sarah does. I got no food. Look at the look at the mom. The mom's over there. Just she's pissed. She's like, "Where's my piece?" She's like, "Why are you hooking my kids up with dinner? I'm trying to teach them how to hunt, and you're making my life oh, hell." Like Adam. Oh, you fell in the puddle. That was so cute. Look at little duckies. Oh, did you flap your little wings like you're a little flying ducky? All right, well. Back to the excitement. All right, guys, let's try a second cast after modifying and removing a whole bunch of line. It still binds. Oh, you better get out there and fight him for it. Look at my poor worm. Look at my poor, look at the teeth marks in him. He got banged out by something. There's something right there. Probably a stupid bass. Yeah, I'm gonna try and catch and put on my put in my frying pan. Uh, put in my frying pan. That's what I want to do. I want to put them in my frying pan tonight for dinner. This, this was a full worm. Well guys, we got a fish on, and my line is fucking shot. Oh, and he's off. Yeah, and he's off. Dang it, you saw it, right? You guys saw it jump out of the water and freak off with my... <sighs> Sitting here dicking around with my friggin' rod because the line was all tangled and then the fish decided to pull on it and straighten everything out and cock over the whatever. Okay, let's play. Right, guys, first uh, catch of the day. Um, caught a jig head. 
going in the frying pan. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna eat it for dinner. It's gonna be great. Guys, I had a fish on. I gotta quit reaching for the GoPro because then I lose them. Just like I just lost my worm. Son of a bitch. These bass, man, they're learning stuff. That or I'm just really shitty at putting a worm on a hook. I'm probably shitty at putting a worm on a hook. Ah, whatever. Let's get another worm and just send it. So pretty much I got shit on the lens. So I should have realized that there was going to be an issue. The moment when I failed my spin in the right direction. <laughs> oh, that was quite the screw up. Now the other thing that friggin' burns my ass is the corner store where I buy my worms. They up the price. It used to be like $2 and change for a dozen and then $4 and change for two dozen. Two dozen worms is now seven freaking dollars. You can't tell me that they've inflated in price that bloody much. So I'm at the store and I'm picking up my worms and the lady's like, 760 and I'm like how many dozen are you giving me and she's like buddy comes over and he goes oh no they up the price they up the price they're, they're getting harder to find and blah 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 supply and demand and no it's supply and demand it's the fact that everybody's off right now everybody's bored Zebcos are hard to keep on the shelf at Canadian Tire I know my buddy Brad told me he works there and he's like man he goes, the amount of cheap fishing rods we've sold this year dwarfs what we've sold in many years. I'm like, really? He's like, dude, people are buying the most garbage setups. He's like, do you ever see them at your fishing hole? And I'm like, we can never go to the fishing hole. He's like, why? I'm like, it's always full of people. We can never get in there. So we've been trying to find other places to fish just to make it possible. And Blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, yeah, well, it's because I'm selling all these fishing poles and new people are getting involved and so on and so forth. And it's like, frig sakes. That's why this, it's hard to find tackle at like Canadian Tire and Walmart. It's because everybody's going there and buying all the shit. That's why we have to go to our little hidden tackle store on Lakeshore. People learned about that place. Holy crap. Guy get rich. Guy would get rich. It's funny how this pandemic, though things are happening in stages and i don't mean with like the infection i mean with people's you know response to it you know like if you think about the beginning of the pandemic what happened well every dummy went out and bought 72 bags of uh freaking toilet paper why because that's what they did in australia the reason why they did it in australia is because australia gets their toilet paper from china in canada and the u.s we fabricate our own toilet paper they're done in factories here there is no import-export, so there's no reason to hoard it. So with everybody in the beginning buying toy paper, I was like, well, where the hell is this going to go next? Like Then, around, well, actually at my birthday, uh, we went to Canadian Tire, and my friend was looking for a bike, and they had plenty of bikes to choose from. Plenty of bikes on sale, plenty of bikes in the store. So she tried a couple, and we ended up, uh, she ended up getting the uh, the Cruiser one. Which was a good bike, lasted for a little bit, but then there were some tire problems and other things. And uh, funny story, she ended up selling that bike for more than she paid for it, so kudos. But um, for some reason, after she bought that bike, when she decided she wanted something else with gears versus direct drive, that's when everybody else on the planet Earth decided they wanted to get into biking. So... Bikes have become harder and harder and harder to find. That's that was the thing. Now everybody's getting a bike. Everybody's out biking right now. Nobody's using their cars. Everybody's out there ripping up and down the streets, giving her on a bike. You see it when I'm out biking. I'm telling you right now, guys. The streets have never been that plentiful with bikes, ever, ever. And you're probably thinking I'm getting involved in it too because, oh, I'm out there biking right now, so I'm part of the problem too. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I bought my bike last year. I just didn't get to use it last year because I had a lot of chores to do before I could actually use it. This year is the first year that I decided to dedicate my, uh, uh, my, my shit to um, actually using it. If you're wondering what I'm hawing about, I had a little incident with the... Uh, with the pancake batter, I thought I blew up my ninja. Turns out, 
egg whites, protein powder, and baking powder under pressure when you blend them. I don't know. I'm not a chef. Basically, it caused the, um, the, the goop to literally blow out the seams of the cup. And it kind of got everywhere. But I just tested the Ninja and it's working. So after the whole freaking biking scenario, bikes are back in stock. You can find them pretty much in every retail store now. Same with toilet paper. And now it seems people have moved on to camping and fishing. Everybody's camping and fishing. It's funny because I bought that tent off Kijiji for my truck. And my friend told me that uh, her brother contacted him like the day after I got it to try and buy it for his truck. And then I heard a couple other people say, like a couple of my friends who have, they don't have eight foot beds. They have six and a half foot beds. One even has a five foot bed. That's kind of a waste of a truck if you ask me. But hey, teach their own. Um, five foot bed and he was trying to buy it now that would have looked really stupid in a five foot bed because even with the tailgate down she would have overhung you know I think with the tailgate down in a six and a half foot bed you could almost get eight feet the lip like the front door would probably hang off of it a bit and you'd have to rig up some sort of supports for the back corners but I'm sure it could be done the tent isn't exactly one of the modern tents where it, like the newer style of uh, Outlanders and uh, uplander tents the uh they form fit a little better and they come with the straps built in this one here requires you to use tie downs or bungee cords or something or just sit it in the back of the box of your truck and hope it's still upright in the morning whatever you want to do it's up to you right there's no rules when camping just gotta spend the night eat a meal and not die so i digress uh basically a lot of people are getting into camping. I just bought the tent because normally they're like, for my truck, because it's an eight foot bed, they're around $400 brand new for those tents. When I saw it on Kijiji for 75, and then I took a low ball swing at 60 and they bit, I was like, wow, I'm getting this tent for like a lot of money off. This is awesome. Like even if there's parts missing, which the straps are missing to secure it to the truck, who cares, man? A set of plastic headed friggin' bungee cords, and I'm in it. That would probably cost me $10. You can get them at the friggin' dollar store, and they're good enough, good stuff for what I want to do. So, why would I be like, oh, you don't have the $5 strap for the tent? Yeah, I'm not interested. Sell it to the next 1,700 people who contact you about this because camping is about to become a real big deal. Still have yet to go camping, but like I said, I got a lot of shit on my plate right now. And by a lot of shit, I mean a lot of kilometers. Guys, we are still at 582 kilometers remaining. So, the objective today is bang out as many as freaking possible. As many as freaking humanly capable possible. Make enough words just to be sophisticated. I'm going to try every single trick I can think of. We're going to go to calendar today, because that's good for 22. Then on the way back, probably going to swing by the waterfront. Roll that four kilometer stretch up and down a couple dozen times. Collect some KMs there. You know what? I don't even care. This pancake I made is massive. And the, like, look at this. This pancake's massive right here. Just freaking huge. This one's not so big, so I'm just going to take this right out of the pan. Flop it on top and be like, what pancake? What pancake? That pancake's pancaking a pancake. How many times can I say pancake in a row? Probably many. Anyway, I got my laundry going because I'm completely out of underwear, so that's fun. That's one thing that the pandemic has caused. Everybody I talk to, I ask them, so how's laundry going? And if they don't have kids, laundry is something that doesn't happen very often because they're literally living in their pajamas all day. Oh, that's another thing that was sold out during the pandemic. Mother freaking gym equipment. Holy. Everybody was buying fitness stuff. I can't wait for Kijiji when this is all over. I'll be able to pick up a set of dumbbells for five bucks. And it's funny because even right now, gyms are back open. Good life is open. World's gym is open. All these gyms are freaking open. And people are still selling dumbbells and stuff on Kijiji like the pandemic's still brand new. I don't get it. There's like somebody on there selling two 30-pound uh, dumbbells. The hex kind, like my 40. And they literally want more than brand new from Walmart. 
Like, mind you, Walmart still doesn't have their shit in stock. They don't even have the little two-pound pink uh, weights in stock. So people are still buying fitness equipment. Well, meanwhile, the gyms are back open, so. Hey, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to slay some pancakes. I'll talk to you in a bit. One problem. I'm freaking hungry. Like, I just had that, those protein pancakes. And they were good and everything, but didn't quite fill the, uh, fill the void. Body still wants fuel. It's gonna save the hamburgers for tonight. Have them present dinner. Cause I put all those kilometers in yesterday, did all that damage. Now the body's like, yeah, we're not done repairing. You gotta giddy up and make some more repairs. I really don't feel like making French toast after making those French toast pancakes. Or just making the pancakes, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, maybe I'll have one of my protein bars. That'll work. I don't, hey, you know, let's just make today all about having protein. Cause I notice that when I eat a lot of protein, my legs don't hurt as much. That's probably a good sign or good something. So I got these yesterday when I was at the grocery store. They're called uh, Pure Protein. And they're not too bad. They're uh, 18 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, and uh, 5 grams of fat. So they'll, uh, they'll work. It'll work. I just want to wait for my washing machine to be done so I can fire it in the dryer before I go to uh, to bike. Get that out of the way. All right, guys. Today I'm not wearing my biking jersey because I need to level off my damn tan. Like, look at this. It's like it's all dark down here, and then it comes up, and it's like friggin' Neapolitan ice cream. It was like brown, pink, and then white. So I figure if I go out biking for four hours in the direct sunlight... I should red lobster up the skin and balance the power and make things look great again. Also, my solution to the pants problem rubbing on the bike, tuck them into the socks. I look great when I go into stores. Probably another reason why that girl was laughing at me yesterday. All right, let's get the camel. Actually, you know what? Before I do anything, let's get the laundry switched over. All right, got the hydration pack. Gonna grab the other two bottles of water because you never know. Probably don't need them, but... You know what, I'm just gonna grab this one bottle. Yeah, I didn't bleed through the entire two liters of the hydration pack yesterday. Probably won't today. Worst case scenario, if I do, there are water refill spots along the route. Just gotta find them. Water's not exactly the coldest, but they'll do in a pinch. Yeah, we'll be fine. Definitely gonna need my hat and my glasses today. Because let me tell you, she's bright outside. Now, I need to get as many kilometers in as possible. Because according to that weather radar out there... Oh, shit. According to the weather radar, we got a low pressure system moving in tonight. And tomorrow is probably not going to be the greatest weather. Also not sure if I'm going to go fishing tonight. I've been having some problems with the fishing pole. You heard me say the bird nesting. I'll show you what's going on here. Let me just get some shit out of my hands. Got crap everywhere here. Jesus Christ. I don't know how the hell I'm going to put the Trans Am back in here come fall. Didn't even drive the damn thing this year. But, um, okay, now it's not there because it's being pinched down by the line. But there's like a little nubbin sticking out at some point from underneath. I'm almost tempted to take all this line off this reel, buy some new line and re-spool it because I screwed up when I put the line on. The video I watched said put the whole damn thing on the uh, the reel, like the whole package, all 100 yards, so 300 feet of, yard, of uh, line, and apparently no, you don't need 300 feet, you'll probably be fine with maybe half that. So, it's not like we're fishing in the ocean. All right, anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this camera off. We're going to switch to the GoPro Hero session. This is the session, right? I didn't grab the four by accident. This is the session five. I'm going to switch control over this. Do some bike vlogging while we ride. Like I said, we currently have, I don't know how many kilometers. I think we're at 582 on the great cycle 
582 kilometers remaining. Let's see if we can get that to be an even 500 by the end of the day. What do you say? Yay, yay! Let's go. All right, guys, just ripping around here. Collecting kilometers, like I said. 82. That's what I want to do for today. It's more than yesterday. Unfortunately, we might be kiboshed for tomorrow. And it's a shame, because let me tell you, lifting weights tires me out. But doing this kind of steady state cardio on the bike, last night I was gonzo so early after the long ass bike ride yesterday. And all this week, going out at nine and giving her till about 10, 10.30, go to bed at, at midnight. I had solid seven hour sleep. I never ever in the history of owning my Fitbit have seen my sleep score hit 95 like I did on those couple nights I went out biking after work. So might not be able to go tomorrow, but if I'm only working nine to five all week, I tell you what, we're gonna be doing some major biking at five till nine, collecting some kilometers, tiring ourselves out, bending the energy, and it's done. And on rainy days, like tomorrow, we'll save that for the weights. Should be good stuff, good enough. At least to my mind. All right, I'm gonna take the scenic route. We're gonna go through the trail, up and over the bridge. I kind of like that route. I was gonna just cross the highway and go for it, but I figure uh, it's been a while since I've been over the bridge, so I'll chime back in later. So, I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go up the calendar. It's been a while since I've done that rip. A friend and I yesterday were gonna do it, but half, well, I mean halfway there. On the start of the way there, she realized that in order to go fishing, she needed jig heads, so we needed to go get jig heads so that she could go fishing. Man, I just don't have the power I had yesterday. And I wonder if it's due to the fact that I didn't drink half as much caffeine today as I did yesterday. Whew. Holy crap, what an off day today. Oh, I don't know what it is. I just like going this way through this little little tunnel even though this grade is steep well it's not steep but it is a grade I find it's easy to pedal up going through this is nice I'm not a big fan of the corkscrews at the end here they're uh, kind of heavy on the brakes especially when you're riding a 50 pound bike oh well, rest in peace headphone users Thought about just going down the stairs one of these days. Here that would just end in a tragedy. I'd want more angles of that if I'm gonna get scraped for YouTube. Let's get more angles, right? That's the rules. Alright. Let's carry on with the rip. I'm gonna take the bike path today. The objective is to get to the waterfront. Probably gonna do a couple rips up and down there. Why not? Nice cool breeze. Could be fun. Holy shit. I almost died back there. Back there from a, someone with a Karen here, dude, driving the Hyundai uh, Santa Fe. Pulling into their driveway, just not paying attention. Had to mash on the brakes and lock them up. I tell you, kind of want to speak to her manager. Last minute executive decision was that I decided. <laughs> against uh, taking the bike path. Uh, I was like, you know what? Uh, let's just start at the top of the Cape Paceway and we'll just take her all the way down. Should be good, should be fun. Why not? Why the frig not, eh? Today is all about burning calories. Burning calories and collecting kilometers, same time. And I don't know if I'm planning on going fishing tonight because I'm having issues with my fishing pole, but if I do, I still got plenty of bait left. I don't know if they're alive. They're in the fridge, so if I decide that I want to, I have bait. I think what I'm gonna do, take it over to Algonquin and shoot down there. That sounds like a good battle plan. All right, let's go. Oh, this hill isn't too bad. I hate to try and bike up it though. That'd be a pain in the ass.
get some pretty good RPMs off the tire coming down that though. If you have bearing problems, you'll find out real quick. Yeah. I have to say is I really did enjoy biking at night. Only because it didn't feel like the streets are so busy. And it's because they weren't. Also, if you're wondering why I'm riding on the wrong side of the road and on the sidewalk, it's because the bike path is up here and I want to hit it. Sometimes you gotta break the rules to convenience yourself or something. All right, quick kilometer check. We're at 6.5 kilometers. And you can see the map of where we've been. I wanna go up and down the pace, Cape Paceway a couple dozen times and see what we can get and then we'll head to uh, Calendar. Let's go. All right, guys. Went down there and back and 10.7 kilometers. So I think I'm gonna do this a couple times and then uh, I'll chime back in. Floaty over there that that girl's holding. Yeah, it's totally a giant poop emoji. That is freaking awesome. Floating down the river on a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored of doing this stretch. This Camaro, however, is not. This is the fourth time he's been up and down this stretch. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's take a rip out the calendar and then we'll come back and see how many kilometers we're in. And then just rip around some more. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. All right, let's go. All right, well, I'm gonna probably take the bike path the whole way down. It's funny, there's an actual sign on the bike path saying that those electric vehicles are not to be used on it. But once again, if it's not enforced, it's just a sign to deter people that doesn't work and cost the taxpayers money. It's fun. Funny. Normally this trail is pretty busy during the day, but I've only passed by five bikes. Everybody's down at the waterfront enjoying the, the weather and food and all the other stuff, I guess. Oh well, more trail for me. All right guys, down here on Booth Road, having a leisurely cruise. Still on the Cape Paceway. Yeah. We're gonna come back this way too. Literally, I'm just going out to Calendar for kilometers. We may go into Calendar though, and uh, pick up some soda, because I really want a monster, maybe seven of them. I need some freaking caffeine. I didn't have any today, and I'm feeling kind of out of it. So I figure we'll go to the store, some monster energy drinks, I think they're on sale. Maybe grab a snacko, form of a sandwich or something. Because all I've had to eat today were those protein pancakes and to be fair, literally it's maybe 400 calories. So I could kind of use some more noms, use some more energy to go. I had a granola bar at the top of the Cape Paceway, but judging by how many uh, calories I've burnt so far, that's pretty much gone. For the good part of the morning, I didn't wear my Fitbit, so my calorie count for the day is a little bit off. It just pulled base numbers. I had to charge it. Didn't realize it was at 5%. Whoops. Oh, and to let you know, the Fitbit will advise you that it's low on battery when it hits 5%. But other than that, it lets the cell phone tell you through emails and text messages. It's friggin' fun times. Still say it'd be nice if the city of North Bay would just pave this side area great for accessing the next part of the trail system instead of riding on this road nearly getting ran over by honey wagons if i would have had the camera rolling when that happened you guys would have shit yourself when you've seen how close it came to touching the end of my handlebar here I almost friggin we were close we were close I, I decided to pull off the road and get into the soft shoulder because he wasn't giving me any room yeah friggin people guys we're on the trail to calendar here oh man my left knee is driving me nuts <laughs> I think I overdid it yesterday and I think I'm being a little bit too uh, optimistic about today a little bit optimistic about trying to get all these miles in I'm gonna try and do it anyway tomorrow is probably not gonna be a biking day due to the weather 
Like I said, they're calling for some bullshit tonight around midnight. And thunderbangers throughout the day. Tomorrow, we'll see what happens. Worst case, we can just get out and do a couple kilometers, just anything. Anything we do is taken off the total, right? Just got to get them done. Said I would, even though I don't have to. Donations are already done. It's literally, you can do whatever you said. Said I'd do it, and I'm going to do it. So let's do it. The whole idea was to wear a sleeveless shirt to get rid of my tan lines. And this is where I decided to go and bike. Uh, sometimes I have great ideas. Other times, well, that's like times like this. All right, guys, we made it the calendar. This is Cranberry Trail. And actually, I usually go up this way to the calendar. The thing is, is, if you cruise down this way, and ride down here for a bit, you guys remember back in the day, like when the vlogs first started, we used to come down here and hang out with cat piss. They used to fly planes, the little uh, RC planes. Well, that's down here somewhere. Can't remember how far down, but I know it's down here. I don't know if he's there today, but I figure we're out touring, burning calories, turning them into kilometers. We're out here anyway. Let's go have a look, see, and see if maybe they're flying planes down at the at the airfield. I wish I could find a smooth path to ride on. Holy crap. One thing I can tell you for sure is biking down these dirt roads in the backcountry, you almost want to wear a handkerchief over your mouth so that when you're breathing, you're only taking in air and not food. I think I swallowed like 15 crickets so far. Free protein. I'm going to say nobody's here flying. I don't see any vehicles. No. Really don't. Normally, oh wait, there's a car. All right, well, there are people flying. Huh, all right, well, cat piss isn't here. It's uh, two other people I've never met before, so. We were setting up some gear to take it up in the air. I just had a weird problem with the bike. Uh, gonna have to check the derailleur tuning later on. But I put it into first and she decided to hop off the first rocket and go between the uh, spoke guard or the geek pad or whatever the hell they call it, stupid thing, the dork wheel and first gear. But it wasn't completely off so I was able to downshift and get it to go back on so we're good but i'm just hoping that's not going to be a constant problem it's like this is the problem when you buy a cheap bike guys this is what you expect nothing but headaches and problems they're cheaply put together to be a budget bike so the best way to be a budget bike is don't spend much money to assemble it so you can charge not too much money to sell it and still turn a profit. And that's pretty much what they did with this fat bike. I swear the most expensive component on the bike was maybe the $50 tires. Oh, and the $25 shifter that I installed. Other than that, no. This bike is cheap, cheap, cheap. Fun, don't get me wrong, it's a fun bike, but cheap as balls components. All right, a little bit of a status update. 29.6 kilometers. That's what we've done on the map so far. I don't know if you guys can see that. Super fun. Two hours, 29 kilometers. Jesus Christ. We got a lot more to do. A lot more to do. So I'm just gonna take a quick station identification break. Grab myself a protein bar. Chug it, and then we'll uh, get back out there. Friggin' Nutra Valley Trail Mix Bar, boys. Hammer it in ya. Alright guys, we're gonna start making our way back into the town. 
I think what I'm gonna do is uh, still haven't done groceries. Still need to do groceries. That'll be a tomorrow thing when it's raining. Just need to pick up some basics. I got stuff at home to make chicken burgers for tonight, but you might stop by No Frills on the way home. I think they have bike park in there. Just hope they have something I can tie this thing up to. Worst case, I'll tie it up to a bike uh, cart corral. But yeah, go there, see if I can get something to make for dinner. Otherwise, we'll just have chicken burgers. Maybe get some snacks for tonight. Maybe I'll have an easy night tonight. You know, I've been putting in a lot of miles over the past couple days. 100 kilometers in two days, pretty much, so far. Anybody in the U.S., you can do that conversion yourself into miles if you really care, but we use kilometers up here. And like I said, I'd like to get it down to the uh, 500 or below, but I don't even know if that's going to be possible for today. Because holy crap, my entire body just hates me right now. And this bike is acting like a piece of shit. Making it really not fun to ride. Can you hear it? Yeah, I hate this bike. Really funny as you're driving by these bushes and all you hear is like rustling. Like something was about to make a dash for to go across the bike path and last minute just aborted the process. Just did a full 360 and fired itself back into the wilderness. You hear it all the time. It's kind of startling, but just it's a chipmunk, it's a squirrel, whatever. Just you don't expect it, and then when it happens, you're like, what the hell? Yeah. There's also a lot of suicidal chippies on this run. I've only ever ran over one of them. He uh, got in front of my bike. I thought he was gonna dash, so I basically went to go around him. He kind of went around the same direction I went, and under the tire he went. Poor little bastard. Should have dipped instead of dodged, but he dived and I dashed and he was done. Alrighty guys, we're back on Booth Road. Could we'll be back on the trail in about five minutes or so. Not even. And then back down to the waterfront and we'll see where we're sitting on for kilometers. And we'll decide what the heck we're gonna do. All I gotta say is any street bikes out there that are doing this leg of the stretch probably really, really appreciate it. Holy crap, this would just shred street tires to shit so fast. This is... <laughs> oh, man. Not good. A couple soft... Oh, I just took a cricket to the friggin' tire. There's a couple soft spots on the side, but... It's also soft. And it grades you off the path. Alright, keep at her. People taking this way here a while back. Get on the bike path coming into the fire station here. And you can see the bike path is just dead ahead. Sorry, I'm in low gear. And uh, oh man, I'm just cooked. I really need a monster energy drink. Some form of stimulation. All right, guys, and we are back down at the waterfront. We'll go up to the starting position at the Cape Paceway and we'll see what we're sitting at for kilometers now. Look, it's Cobra Death Chickens in their natural habitat. The Canadian soccer field. See, I really need some caffeine, but the problem is, is all the places that sell what I want have nowhere to tie up a bike. Sometimes I really question why businesses don't have bike locks or bike locking stations. They're not that expensive. A couple bars in the ground and you're there. Is it really that big of a deal? Apparently so. Guys, we're gonna go and see. I think I have some cash on me. Otherwise I got debit. Let's go see if this truck stand is open. If it is, we're gonna grab some fuel. I need food, I'm starving. I didn't have enough for breakfast, I'm stupid. This thing is open, we'll fuel up. Check our kilometers and carry on some more. I'm just really freaking hungry and I need some protein. These little candy bar things aren't holding it. Definitely needed that. <coughs> oh yeah, good stuff, good enough. Okay, where do these guys come from? Oh yeah, there's bike walk up here. Look okay, guys, this is the splash pad. A lot of money went into that. Uh, now just get that food to digest and become usable energy. 
Oh, that's where they put the Dion Quinn's house. It used to be over by uh, Home Depot, and they moved it here. Held up pretty good for being moved. I do say so myself. I don't think people can go in it. Okay, people can totally go in it. Huh. Is this barred off? Yeah, this is barred off. Oh, I wonder what else they're going to build here. Looks like they're building something here. Cooper. I wonder what they're making. Who knows? Whatever. Let's get back to biking. I don't know if I said it, but we're 42 kilometers in, so... Still got plenty more to go. Alright guys, even though I had that burger, I'm friggin... I'm drained. I have no energy. I think what I'm gonna do, is it's currently 10 after 4. We're gonna start making our way home, but we're gonna take the long way around. Well, that guy's got a fast fat bike. Look at him go. <laughs> Must be nice. Um, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the long way around. And I'm gonna see if No Frills has any sort of bike lockup. Maybe stop in there and get something to cook for supper tonight. I had that burger, but I did nothing. Ugh. I need more food. Looks different during the day than at night, eh? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny though, because uh, when I used to work at Staples, there was a guy there, and he lived down here. Actually, I see this house right here, with the diamond things at the end of the driveway. I used to drop them off there, and then whenever I needed really weird computer parts, like the strangest things that you just shouldn't need, but I was dabbling in some whacked out hardware at the time. This place right here, this building for lease, there used to be a computer guy upstairs and he actually uh, had a lot of cool stuff and my buddies, the muscle dummies, wanted to rent this out and turn it into their gym until they called the rental guy and got a price and went, holy hell hard no. They're asking me like, oh man, would you get in on it with us? I'm like, no. I'm like, why? I'm like, I got a home gym, good enough, good stuff. We really don't need to be investing more money into this. If anything, I get a gym membership somewhere, but I don't even want to do that. I'd rather just use the home gym. Let's see, even though I'm cutting today short, but I'm not really cutting it short because we got out at 12.30. It's 4.30 now. We just didn't bike as fast, therefore reducing the amount of kilometers that we did. That's the main problem. They didn't bike us fast because stupid over here didn't friggin' drink a bunch of caffeine for. So I just preload the body with energy and give her. It's all my fault. Got to drink more caffeine than I did the last time. Just get it right supercharged. But it's not a big deal, right? Because this week I'm not working nine. Well, so far I'm not working nine to nine. We'll see what the boss says. He might have me do it a couple of days. I think it was because I was covering for someone, but I don't know. We'll. Uh, he may put me on a little, but even if he does, whatever. If I get off at 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock, I can jump on the bike, get out there. Even if I only bike till 9 o'clock, that's four hours a day. That's uh, some pretty good mileage that I should be able to bang out. So, you know, if you need some good mileage, that's all you do. Just leave at 5, go out, rip around for a bit. I know the tour from my house down to the bottom, to the first stretch of the Cape Paceway, like uh, Lee Park, all the way up to the waterfront, all the way, like this route here I'm doing now, I know this is 17 and a half kilometers. So if I do this with a couple sprints up and down the waterfront, that's some easy freaking mileage. Let's go take a look at some cars. These look like shit. GMCs, garbage. Where's their used lot? That's what I'm interested in. Not the new shit. It's all garbage as a Dodge. Maybe this is the used lot. I like how they have like all these GMs and there's just a random Jeep over here. Jacked up 2017 Jeep with big freaking mud tires. I don't know. Their trucks look good, but I like the Sierras myself. 
their General Motors, their recalls on wheels. And I'll always buy a two door. Next truck, if I ever do I actually decide to ever replace my truck, it may be a two and a half, but I'll never buy the full four door. That just sounds like I'm looking for a wife and children. I don't know, to me a truck is two doors. Like this isn't too bad. Well, like besides the fact that it's usually like the two and a half doors. I'll take that all day, but not the four doors. Subaru has a used lot. I've never been through theirs. Let's see what they got over here. Check out the Subi lot. Oh yeah, these are nice. Little Impreza's. I always like that one there. Oh, 2011 Outback on hold. Somebody's gonna be getting a new car. Is this the new shit or the used shit? Well, it's gotta be used shit. Hey, it looks like that truck that I was gonna take out for a test drive. Uh, I did take out for a test drive. Guess remember when I took that Ford out? That blue Ford, just like it was dilapidated turd. I always liked that style of the Faiso. It's been a while since I've decided to go through used car lots and just see what kind of shit people are pedaling. What the frig is that? Oh, it's a Explorer. It's all mangled. You probably still want top dollar for it. No, I like these Subarus, man. Subaru Legacies, those are nice. And I really do like these Honda Civics for some reason. These new style. They're really nice too. I don't know, if I were to get an SUV, I'd probably get like one of these, these Foresters. They're pretty sick. Look at this little car. I wouldn't even fit in that. You see that little thing? Yeah, let's go back. Jesus, Murphy, look at this little guy. Oh, it's got cracks in it and everything. It looks like it was in a bender. Wow. That thing is tiny. I would really like to see two 400 pound people sitting there and go for a cruise. Just because I'm a jerk like that. Yeah, these even these Subaru cars are nice. I don't know what the hell that is. But uh, I wouldn't mind one of those. A little Forester. That's a Forester. I know it's an Ascent. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. The Outbacks are nice too. They're pretty sick. I think that's what Joss drives is a Subaru Outback. They're pretty nice. Oh, I want to go take a look at Toyota, see what kind of crap they have. You know, we're touring all these lots, might as well, right? I'm getting kilometers while looking at used cars. Well, I don't know if they're used. A lot of these are new. See, Subaru and Toyota made that BRZ a86 CRS Element OP little 200 horsepower two seater I don't think they make them anymore because I didn't see a single one on their lot or a single one on this lot I like those Tacomas they're nice almost bought one instead of the F-150 but they wouldn't even budge on anything Try to get any any sort of a thing, like a coating for the box. Wouldn't throw it in. Like Ford threw in the Rhino liner. Ford threw in all sorts of accessories. They just wouldn't do it. I'd never buy a Tundra. Holy crap! Pass everything but a gas station. Those things are pigs. Just disgusting on gas. 
So did Dodge Dart. Or did Toyota steal the look of the Dodge Dart? Yeah, Toyota selling more Hondas than Honda. Like, I, I even like that. That's nice. Simple little quarter ton. But I was there, honestly, the, there they are. Is that it? No. Hmm. No, when I was uh, buying a thing about getting a truck, that's what I was looking at was the, uh, was the Tacoma. I was like, it's small, it comes in a four cylinder. It's the only truck I know that you can get with a manual transmission. Perfect, right? I want to get over to the other side because that's where no thrills is. But it looks like all this traffic saying no. Just gonna wait for these cars. Then we're gonna do the scoot. The boot scoot. Boot scoot across straight, yo. Alright, hammer into it. One thing I gotta say about this hydration pack that's friggin' annoying is the tube keeps touching me in the pants. And uh kinda gets me excited. Get your hopes up, we're not going to Wendy's, I'm just getting more kilometers by driving around like an idiot. But I literally just passed by this little green Audi A4 or Audi or whatever they pronounce it, who cares? A little gray out or green Audi A4. I passed them like seven times down on the waterfront. Must be nice just to have money to boot scoot around town and burn a bunch of gas. Then again, I don't even know how fuel economy those things are. They're probably pretty good on gas, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Hey, look, I found a bike parking spot right over there. Here, let's. Uh, I probably shouldn't have got up here. Ah, there's a way down. Perfect. I can just lock right up to that metal bar right there because I don't see anything else good enough for bike parking. I'm gonna go take a look on the other side just to be certain. But as far as I can tell, bike parking is limited. Yeah, found a parking spot. All right, so I got some groceries. So is there. this place is officially my favorite. Guys, we got some chicken. We got some salad. We got some beer. It's gonna be a good night. Let's go ahead and pack it up, pack it in, let it begin, head home. Let's do this. All right, now that we managed to get everything to fit in there, let's uh, do ourselves a solid. Where the hell am I going? Okay, well, we're just gonna chop up here. I guess we're gonna be on the wrong side of the road for a bit. That happens. Yeah, this bike, you can feel the weight. She's freaking heavy, boys. Anyway, I want to go straight across and then I want to cut over and I want to go through here because it's uh, going to take a little bit of a different path home. Still going to be the same sort of path, it's just different. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Just go with it. I'm talking to myself, it's fine. All right. Now there's a little dirt path here and I know where it goes. 
It just takes you up to the bank over there. I think that's a bank. No, some accounting firm, whatever. It takes you over there. I think. Or it just goes dead and I'm just gonna bushwhack the rest of the way through because I don't care. Oh God, there's a bottle here. Oh yeah, this feels great. Okay, well that was the dumbest thing I ever decided to do. Some of those actually had friggin' thorns in them. Ow! Well, that's one of the first plazas that I've seen that actually has a designated bike spot. And it was wide enough for fat bike, so no frills. You just became my number one fat bike grocery store. And you're sort of on the way home, and you got a good selection. Because I only paid like $8 for this chunk of chicken that I'm going to be cooking tonight. Salad was the same price as always. Okay, maybe I'll start following the rules here. Get over. <laughs> Friggin' grasshoppers. Ah, uh, home stretch. Ouch. Ever since I went through that friggin' that little trail, I feel bugs all over me. Probably under attack big time. Wow, that's a big truck. I wonder if the guy's 5'2. But, uh. Oh, we're on the home stretch. Probably did maybe 55 kilometers today. You know what? Good enough, good stuff. We can do more kilometers throughout the week. Next weekend's another weekend of fun and excitement. I don't know, I'm having a good time. The videos might suck, but I'm having a great time. Even though I'm uh, a little pooped today, but I think it's because uh, I didn't have a big enough breakfast. Because yesterday when I went out, I was uh, pretty jacked on the food. I had those ch the chicken burgers, or the ground chicken burgers. With, uh, and for breakfast I had the French toast, so I was a pretty good foundation for success. Plus I probably drank about a quarter of a pot of coffee, maybe a half. So I had that working for me too. And today I'm literally running on iced tea, which doesn't have caffeine. Not the Mio squirt stuff anyway. So I'm kind of uh, a little bit drained running on natural energy right now and uh, I just don't have the jam to, to giddy up go. Oh, well, we'll see what tomorrow's like. Maybe we'll get some more biking in. It's Sunday tomorrow. Like, we're even... Weekend's not done yet. And, you know, that's the one thing. Like, I hate half-day Fridays because it takes away from the paycheck. But the one thing I do like about half-day Fridays is every weekend feels like a long weekend. Because, like, literally, you wake up, you go to work at 9, you're off at noon, and then you don't go back in till nine on Monday. So you're off noon Friday till nine Monday. It just, it feels like every weekend's a long weekend. And then you do get a long weekend on a half day Friday. And holy shit. And then all you gotta do on work weeks, like work days, is if you're stressed out, just go out and ride the bike. See some scenery. Go out and explore. Just get out of the house. Completely detunes you. It's so nice. So good. It's my favorite. All right. And we're home. I really gotta quit doing that. What a freaking bullshit. <laughs> I shouldn't say it was bullshit. We did 56 kilometers. You know what? That's pretty damn good. I am just spent. That burger was pretty good, but I need more. All right, well, I'm going to get that chicken in the air fryer. Let me show you what I got. First off, salad. Asian Island Crunch, whatever the hell that means. 
and a pack of boneless skinless, which I'm going to cook them both up tonight and eat them both because protein. Also, they had uh, my favorite popcorn seasoning brand, Kernels, uh, over at No Frills, so had to indulge. I got dill pickle in there now. I already blew through my uh, cheddar cheese. That's the white cheddar. My friend got that one. She said it's pretty good. Tastes a lot like Smart or uh, Smart Choice or whatever. And for snackos tonight, got some turkey pepperonis because uh, they're lower in calories than the regular pepperonis. Higher in protein, lower in fat, lower, well, no carbs. So, perfect. We got snackos. We got munchos. Oh, yeah. And for drink, beers in the freezer. Don't make me forget. And I bought two of these little squirt bottles of flavoring because I'm running low. They're pomegranate raspberry or some shit. That should be good. All right. I'm going to get this chicken cooking. I'm going to go edit up what I got for video stuff now. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. After that long day, the real question is, is should I go fishing? Do you ever really ask that question, do you go fishing? No, guys, you go fishing. There's like two questions you never ask. Should I go fishing? And is today a good day to lift? Anyway, we're down here, as you can tell, at the wall, and uh, we're gonna try and redeem ourselves from the failure of last night. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, first cast of the day. I have no idea if you can hear me. You probably can't, because this wind is something else. It's gonna get worse as the night goes on too. Also darker. All right, let's send it out. So I'm just gonna leave it out there because yesterday that strat worked. So much wind, my friggin' jig is over on that beach right now. I swear guys, if I don't catch a fish tonight, on my way home, I'm stopping by the corner store buying a big bag of Doritos and eating a whole damn bag myself. It's gonna happen. First fish of the night, not caught by me. It's a little, a little smallmouth. Just a little smallmouth bass. Tastes cute. I got a snag, but my friend's got a smallmouth. Oh, I just, yeah, it's a tiny little smallie. A little smallmouth bass, he's so cute. But I'm obviously fishing in the wrong spot because my friend just pulls another one here. What do we got? Oh, this one's actually putting up a good fight. Oh, check it out, guys. Little fire pit built into the rock. We can poke it, too. Yeah. A little fishing in the fire. Fun time. Like our little camp spot. We got a little fire. We got a little camp spot. It's stupid. Just kidding, guys. Yeah, there's one drum. <sighs> Look at all the scales in there. Eh? These things just lose their friggin' scales so easily. That's all we caught tonight that we could keep. The bass were too small. Send them back. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this guy up and I'm just gonna put him in a container with salt water. I wanna try him in the salt water because the bass was fantastic after the salt water brine. So I'm thinking he might do the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop him up right now. And then, uh, I did buy Doritos, so I, did the, I needed them for the skit, that's for sure. But, uh, I plan on eating those tonight anyway, so. Either way, I was getting Doritos. I, theoretically, though, I didn't catch any fish. So, whatever. Anyway, let me chop this guy up. I'm going to do it off camera. All right, fish is all chopped up, and I got this moth in here. And I could hear him the whole time. He was like motorboating around, but I think he just drowned. I gotta dump that fish water. Uh, lock my truck. Nope. That's good. I wanted to grab this thing. Which, by the way, was pretty much garbage for fishing. Uh, like, it's got a good beam on it. Like, it'll show you stuff down there, but the uh, lantern portion to illuminate the area. Eh. It's garb. It's not that good. Uh, I'm gonna bring this in the house. All right. Is there a kitty cat in the window? Is there a kitty cat in the window? No. I thought there was a 
a kitty cat in the window. Oh, there's a kitty cat on the floor. That's why. There's no kitty cat in the window. All right, so I'm going to let the dog out so he can go for a shit. And I'm going to salt water brine these guys. Before I do that, take the lid off. Let's grab one of these. Let's do a weight check. Zero it out. Swap a Rooney. 126 grams of sheep head. Sweet. So I was like sitting here and trying to freaking edit and I'm passing out. Guys, I need to shut her down and call it a day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to cook that sheep set up tomorrow. I'm going to let it soak in the salt water brine all night. And then tomorrow I'm going to probably just fry it in butter or something. I don't really know. Um, no idea. It's raining out right now. You can smell it. You can hear it. You can probably see it if you go outside. Even feel it for that matter. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, or concern, down below they go. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.